Hello everyone, Shoestring here. What we're going to talk about today on a real quick video is how to do an inline fuse. Been lots of questions about how to do an inline fuse. I'm simply going to use a fuse holder box, 300 amp fuse, 5000 watt Ames inverter, and a lithium battery. Okay, so the point of this is we want to make sure if something happens, a power surge or whatever error happens between an inverter and the battery, the fuse will cut off, snap off, and the battery or the inverter will not be damaged. That's the point. That's why we do these. I did a lot of videos with smaller systems that I didn't really use a fuse, but since so many folks have been asking, I thought I'd go ahead and do that. And we'll start out with setting up the fuse. Really pretty simple. We take this locking washer, put that in first. Then we're going to put on our fuse. We slide that, this in, that over, and it's in. Now we're gonna take our wire. We need two, because we're having one from the inverter to the fuse. And then one from the fuse to the battery. Remember, that's the point. Put our washers on. Now, when you do this, of course, you're going to use the appropriate size fuse for your devices. Uh, I won't try to go through each one. There is lots of calculations to do that online. I'm just basically showing you how easy it is. A lot of people don't do them because they think they're complicated, but they're really not. And there, the fuse is on. And take your top, whichever type you have. Clicks right in. And there, it's on. Now, you connect it from the battery. I'm using, like I said, a 100 amp hour lithium battery. We'll turn it just a little. And what we're gonna do is connect this to the positive, right? The positive. So we're going to do the inverter first. And we're going to do, like I said, connect the fuse to the positive. Now, I'm only doing this finger tight because I'm just showing you how to do it. Right? You'll want to do it much tighter than this, but this is just finger because we're just walking through how to connect the fuse. And there, the fuse, as you see, is connected. Now, of course, you're going to want to use longer wires, and you're going to make sure this is some set down between the two and safe. And, of course, the negative, which I'm not, not going to necessarily hook up because I'm not actually going to make it work because we don't need to, is connected the way you normally do it. But... Since we know someone in the end is going to ask, let's just go ahead and do that anyway. Because someone will ask, because I've watched videos and done these myself, and asked, how do I know... It's going to work. You didn't make it do anything. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so it is now connected. Let's go over here to the front of the inverter. Yeah, let's turn this bad boy around. And the light came on. The inverter is now on. And it has... A good fuse. 
If you have any questions, please put it down in the comments. And of course, if you like this type of video, please, please subscribe, like, share, click the little notification button. And shoestring out.